the film really does center around um, Hurricane a uh, Hurricane Katrina, the aftermath. It follows four right. friends who return to New Orleans afterwards. They have no help from FEMA. And then, of course, they turn to right. a local gangster to help carry out the casino heist. But the, the part of it receiving no help from the government very much parallels what's happening mm-hmm. to black and brown communities around coronavirus. Not just around coronavirus, but, you know, we're looking at this lack of accountability, the lack of protection. Um, black people, we don't feel that we have the kind of support, protection, um, even awareness that um, is given to um, other ethnicities. So I think that it's it's such a parallel when you talk about, you know, Hurricane Katrina and the current health climate, and you're also mm-hmm. talking about the neglect that there are that that happens within certain communities. You know, especially the Ninth Ward, still to this day, you know, mm-hmm. only about thirty percent of the Ninth Ward is is has been able to rebuild. Um, in the same way that it was before Hurricane Katrina, while the rest of New Orleans, looking at about 90 percent, um, uh, a percentage of her having, you know, had their communities rebuilt. So, you know, yeah. there's some serious neglect happening, and it's hard to not see that as being, you know, racially charged. Yes.